Hey Metalheads, willkommen zur 34. Folge von Metal is Forever. Und heute haben wir internationalen Gast wieder aus Schweden. Jawohl, die unglaubliche Nina Söderquist heute ist zu Gast. Plus Producer vom neuen Album und der neuen Single, die jetzt schon in Schweden richtig bombt. Das wird wirklich, wirklich cool heute. Und das war eigentlich eine, äh, ja, wir haben das Interview schon aufgenommen gehabt im Dezember. Und ja, dachte ich, nein, live ist besser. Live muss sein. Aber bevor es live losgeht, erstmal die Werbung von meinen Sponsoren. Ganz wichtig. Dann geht's los. Nein, falscher Ding. Hier ist er. Die Metal is Forever Show wird euch präsentiert von Der Vegan Ashes of Rock'n'Roll Veganer Lifestyle ist lebendiger Rock'n'Roll Wir sind Rebellen, wir sind Veganer Wir lieben das Leben und leben es mit jeder Menge Spaß Fliesen Spitzner, ihr zuverlässiger Handwerker für alle Aufgaben rund um das Verlegen von Fliesen, Platten, Mosaik und Naturstein Schwammerhandler, Fanshop, Store and More Das aus dem Bayerischen Wald DC Hell, Business Clothes for Rockers. DC Hell. Kein Fest und ihr leckere Sposau. Deshalb, wenn es um Sposau geht, dann hacks Sposau Grillerei. Wenn es um Cargo geht, dann Seidel Cargo, denn wir fahren auch Metal. Crazy Stuff Tattoo in Schwandorf, Tätowierer aus Leidenschaft. Dein Tattoo Studio in privater Atmosphäre und für individuelle Tattoos. Luftraum Fürstenfeldbruck, die Rock- und Metal-Kneipe. Jede Woche von Donnerstag bis Samstag Rock und Metal vom Feinsten. Ja, besten Dank an meine Sponsoren. Wunderbar. Ja, jeden Tag werden die Nachrichten mehr. Als ich heute früh um 1 Uhr oder kurz nach 1 mein Handy angemacht habe, kamen die Nachrichten reingeschossen. Viele, viele äh, von euch äh, sind jetzt schon involviert, helfen mir, bringen mir neue äh, Artisten, neue Bands, neue Künstler und geben mir Ratschläge, was man noch verbessern könnte. Ganz toll. Und es ist auch eure Sendung. Es soll ja euch Spaß machen. Es soll nicht mir hier alleine Spaß machen, sondern euch da draußen natürlich. Also ich bin immer dankbar für neue Tipps und dass ihr mir helft. Wunderbar. So muss es sein. Und ich werde auch noch darauf eingehen später. Wir haben auch eine neue Band, ist äh, wieder bestätigt. Werde ich auch später darauf eingehen. Aber jetzt geht es erstmal heute um unseren Gaststar aus Schweden. Aber erst kommt was, ein eigenes Vorprogramm. Und es ist ein Perfect Day für Schweden heute. Hier, a perfect day und give it away.
a perfect day, give it away. Ja, no, nicht, nicht, nicht die Ergebnisse, den perfekten Talk. Übrigens, bei Rock of Angels Records erhältlich im Musik Maker Store. Okay, liebe Freunde, da will man sagen, jetzt machen wir erst mal die Vorhut und dann kommt der Hauptstar. Hier ist Nina Söderquist und Breathe, geiler Track mit Mickey D am Schlagzeug. Mickey D, ihr kennt ihn natürlich, jetzt bei Scorpions, vorher bei Motorhead. Und sie hat das richtige Shirt an in dem Video. Jawohl, hier ist Nina Söderquist, nämlich dann gleich nach dem Song bei mir im Interview. Plus Producer kommt heute auch noch vom neuen Album, Jim Wallenburg. Sacrifice my dreams again when I Das hört der Quist, Breathe. Und ob der Keyboarder von Heat ist, können wir sich gleich selber fragen. Mikkel, jetzt kriegst du gleich den Antwort äh, beantwortet. Und welcome in the show, Nina Söder Quist. Hey. Thank you. Hey, thank you. Nina, nice to have you on the show. Thank you for having me. I just, okay. So, Nina, actually, we had this interview already. But I, I thought it was no, so fun. So let's do it again. <laughs> yes, it was. It was. Uh, do, do you see the, the comments? Moment, I just turned the music, uh, the, the volume down from my phone. Otherwise, I get always problems. Um, the keyboarder was from the, the band Heat. It's, it's, it's Jonah T from Heat. Yeah, and the guitarist is the Tommy Johansson from Sabaton. 
And also the bass player is Rasmus Ernborn from Soilwork. So it's a great bunch of musicians. And Mickey D on the drums, of course. Mickey D. Holy shit. How, how, what, 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 what must I do to get Mickey D? Be nice to you. You can have a nice call to Mickey. Say, hey, Mickey, please you can ask, go to you Mickey. Can, you, you can ask me to get Mickey D on. You have to ask Mickey, but I'm a very good I friend him already. with Mickey. Yeah, but you know, it, it, he, we're such a good friend, so you, you need to ask him, I think. But now you have me, so. Yeah, of course. <laughs> of course. Today you're number one. After the show, please, I need Mickey on the show because I want, the, I think many, many fans outside, they want to hear the stories of Lemmy, you know. Another Lemmy day. in the tour bus. Yes. Nina, mm -hmm. you have a, quite a history and I, I checked in YouTube all your videos. So God, holy shit, you did so much. But what is the, what is the humble beginning from Nina Söderqvist before you became a well-known singer in, in Sweden, you started somehow. What yeah, I, I, start, I started to tour as uh, I think I was 15 or 16. So I always been uh, singing, touring in, in different bands and uh, singing the music I love. But I think I got my breakthrough when I won a TV competition here in Sweden that's called Western Star. And they were looking for the next uh, musical star in the West End of London to do the leading okay. a leading part in Monty Python's musical Spamalot. And I won, won the program and I got the part. So I I think that that's when I got my real big breakthrough in Sweden. As And it's kind of funny because I got it doing musical in the West End of London. And I mean, I'm a rock singer. So it was kind of funny that it happened that way but i'm grateful what was your your first uh introduction to rock music was there a a, a singer or a lady singer or man singer male singer oh i really thought it, oh i think it was europe actually because i think i was oh my gosh could i be nine ten and i i heard the the final countdown record and i was like God damn, that's good. I think I sang Carrie like a million times. <laughs> I love that record. And that was my first, I think. And I love the, the 80s rock, the, the melodic, the, Me too. the the White Snake, David Coverdale, Scorpions, Guns N' Roses, all of them. I, I love it. And ACDC, of course, that, those are my, oh, they are gods in my world. So I, I think it started with Europe and then... It was just, you know, the rest is history. I saw Europe in, in Germany in the 80s in the final countdown tour. And I remember when Joy Tempest entered the stage, it was the loudest scream I ever heard in my life. The whole venue was screaming and yeah. it was such an impact. I mean, you have some, some big names in Sweden, Apple, of course, and then, and then uh, Europe and maybe Europe opens a lot of ways. Because suddenly the world looked of Sweden, hey, little country, but fantastic music. Melody, yeah. I think, when it comes to melody rock, I think Sweden is very, very, very high. Yeah, the, 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 I think it's kind of strange because we're really good at doing rock. But in Sweden, the media is not so keen on putting rock on TV or radio. So we don't get to hear so much rock in Sweden. But So you don't really understand how big of of a deal the band is abroad. I mean, I, I knew that Europe was kind of big uh, in, in the world, but I, got, I, di I did a TV show, was it kind of 15 years ago, and uh, Europe was there doing their uh, one of their new singles, and I got to, to chat with Joey and, uh, 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 God, uh, with uh, Jon Nurem. Mick. And Jon, no, Jon Nurem and... Uh, and Joey, and they were so nice. And, uh, and I mean, and uh, you don't really understand how big they are out in their world. And but later on, I worked with Key Marcello, the guitarist from Europe as well. And now I work with both Mick Michaeli and Ian Haugland because I'm a radio DJ on a rock channel. So they and they work there as well. So it's kind of a, a small world. <laughs> so but I, it, I love it those is, guys. It is. 
such a good guys. Yeah, love them. Yeah, we see later on. We see uh, a show. Uh, a show you did in Sweden Rock Festival mm -hmm. together with a lot of uh, a lot of legend, le legendary musicians. But later, later on, yeah, uh, I I found something. Uh, the, non, the, the song TikTok. Oh and yeah. This, what was this was special man this was huge what was this yeah that was my eurovision song we have a eurovision contest in sweden and the winner gets to to compete in the big eurovision as you do as well so that was my that was my um, song in the eurovision and it was right after i got home from london from the musical business so i think that was my hello sweden i'm a rock singer now <laughs> my moment Okay, how was it? Can you can you re recall the, the the feeling you on this big stage and millions of people see you, and uh, is is this I, is this like a dream come true or or how you felt? Well, to be honest, I mean, being in London doing BBC, BBC morning show with 40 million viewers was bigger, so I I was kind of used to doing a lot of media with a, a big audience, so I don't think I. I, I thought about million viewers, but I was happy doing my own song with the great dancers and doing it on TV. This was your, your own song? You wrote mm. the song? Yeah, I, I was with them writing, yeah. And also uh, Matti Alfonsetti, a, a great uh, songwriter, was in that, and Johan Leander, yeah. So, so that was kind of a moment for me that telling the Swedish people that you know what, I'm not just a musical star, I'm a, I'm a rock singer. Remember that. <laughs> very, very cool. Uh, I told you before, I have no idea because it's from a TV and it's a full song. Hopefully we don't get bombed. That means copyright, tack, boom. And, I won't tell uh, if you don't. <laughs> so if, 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 if you're off, off the stream, maybe we have to, have to stop it and then we have to, you know, it's not, not, it's not my fault then, but we try. Let's say maybe, maybe The Swedish are mercy, have mercy with us. Yes. Here is Nina Sjöderqvist and her own song in the European contest. It was the, the, the it was not the contest. It was the Swedish, right? Okay. Here is TikTok. Nina Sjöderqvist. Nina Sjöderqvist. No, I I made it shorter to be sure we are not we are not bombed. That's <laughs> right. Okay. That's cool. 
Yeah. Yeah. Very, very cool. Your Lande was also involved in, in this, in this, uh, or sorry? was it different, different, your, your Lande was, was involved. Did I hear it right from you? The singer? Uh -huh. Your Lande? No. No. It no, was... but, that, but Mats Levine from Candlemas was my background singer. <laughs> okay, Candlemas. Mm -hmm. That's all good names, my, my friend. Mm -hmm. Saying, friend, you are not alone today. I'm not, no. Uh, yes, we have somebody in the background yes. eating all, the, all the, the catering. A very uh, important person as well. We, for we my have, history, we I think. Have, Yes, yes, yes. But before before we bring him in, uh, from our viewers, uh, that can ask questions, of course. And there is one one uh, question from Mikkel Scherfel, and he asks, "Do you know Thunder Mother, or uh, you like Thunder Mother?" Yeah, they're good, really good. A lot of great girls. You know them personally? Yeah, I've, I've worked with Filippa. She's been uh, I've been doing some gigs with her on Sweden Rock. So, Mikkel, so da draußen, wenn ihr Fragen habt an Nina, heute könnt ihr fragen. Kein Problem. And now we bring him in the composer of the original Metal is Forever intro music. And my good friend, way back from Phuket, Thailand, here is Jim Walmorg. Good evening, everyone. How's it going? Hey, Jim. How you doing, buddy? You okay? Yeah, I'm great. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I have great guests on my show. Yeah. What I more can I ask for? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you said you both. I'm just sitting here and freezing my ass off in Sweden, so it's uh, I'm not in the in the, in the warm. <laughs> <laughs> But it's nice as well. Uh, Roland Seidel asks, "You have a new solo album that we can buy?" So I. Uh, Roland Stone. I'm I'm working on it now, so hopefully it's going to be released uh, this uh, fall. Yeah, so fingers crossed. Look out. Yeah. And that's why Jim is here also, because Jim is one of the producer. Actually, we are, you, you are, you are two, two guys, right? Yeah. But There. the other can't make it today, unfortunately. No. no. But He's you have wrong. something very, very new, very new. And you told me yesterday, Jim, That you got woke up in the radio, so the new single is running up and down in the, in the Swedish radio. So, how how you feel when, when you are involved in the in the, in the recording or in the production, and suddenly you get woke up by the by the radio by the song you produced? That's, Jim, that's a, that's a fun that you wake up to that because when we wrote that song, Nina wrote the song as well, but we start to wrote like the music and like the kind of sketch lyrics. We were sitting next to the place where the radio, where the song come out from the radio now, after. So we, we wrote the song next to the radio where I heard it the first time. That's quite and the, fun, and the fun thing with that song was that, I mean, I've never done a song that quick as we did. Isn't that true, Jim? Because you, you, you uh, sent me the music and then I wrote the lyrics. It's like shuff, shuff, back and forth in a day. And then I had like, I think it was three hours to do the vocals because I didn't have more time in the studio because we were we needed to mix it and you know so it was like <laughs> singing yeah. it and then like okay send the files to Jim and then blah 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 so I think we did the song in it'd be like three days it was yeah, three days because I I, I sent Nina the demo and Ronnie the, my colleague who I wrote the song with as well. He sang that song on the demo, and then, but, but that was too low because Nina has a very high voice. So we have to send that to her, and she said, "Oh, we have to transpose this one." So we transpose it and send it. She said, "Okay, okay, let's go to work." So me and Ronnie, I sat and did some synths. Ronnie re-recorded -re guitars. Nina booked a studio in Stockholm the day after. She said yes. So we work. Ronnie worked all night. I continue the morning and wake up and send to her so she can do a proper recording to the song yeah and I did some notes on the vocals yeah on the lyrics yeah it was it was amazing but it was great fun and it was it was a good result yeah yeah <laughs> I heard so so Jim when when Nina actually approved the song 
how you felt? Say, fucking hell. It's very good. Felt very good. <laughs> because I went, I, I went through some old songs and I asked, listen, oh, yeah, that song. And I was like, oh, I should send that one to Nina. Because that could be her style because she is into rock and roll and stuff and metal. I'm also into that. But I sent that sent it to her and she liked, liked the song. And uh, yeah, it was felt really good. The right singer for the song. Absolutely. I remember I remember when I when I met you in Phuket years ago, many years ago, and we actually worked together <laughs> in the Rock City. I I produced a movie, you remember? A documentary about you. Yeah, and, yeah. And, this, and this was the first time the first time you you played me some music original music you wrote and i thought holy fuck that's is that's a fantastic music melody melody rock what i really love so uh back then and this was not the beginning this was already you had already a, a history years in recording and 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 playing that's why you you are you were chosen chosen by by uh, uh jim who was in uh, uh, what was 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 name Jim for Nasty yeah, Idols? Yeah, it was George Swenson who played George, with George, George, yeah, George, yeah. yeah. It was really funny, and we and we went down to Malmö rehearsal with the guys and Matt Solarsson who played with Ingrid Malmsteen for twelve years, the keyboard player. And yeah, I played uh, with him too. Yeah, you played with him too, and they also Osborne tribute band. And tomorrow is the uh, sixth day. Only six years since he passed away. He passed away mm. the 18th of February 2015, sadly. Also, alle da draußen, Mats Olausen war der Keeper Player von Ingrid Malmsteen. Und ich hatte die Ehre, mit diesem Wahnsinns Keeper Player zu spielen, mit, mit Jim zusammen. Great, great memories, my friend. But yeah. now we are here for, for Nina. And yeah. we are here for. This is the first time in Europe, in Europe the song is played uh, by a podcast, right? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Right. Yeah. With, with us in it, it is. <laughs> yeah. So. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Claudia. Danke. This is a, a very, very <laughs> lovely, lovely Claudia. We love her. Oh, She's a great, great, great. I love her. Yeah, thank you. Claudia, we love you. <laughs> Freunde <laughs> draußen, ihr könnt, ihr könnt Komplimente machen und ich gebe es weiter I, an sie. And it's so I have to say that it's, it's such a great fun to see the comments and to answer them. I mean, if you have questions, just bring it on because I mean, whatever. I'm sitting in my I daughter's room now, if you're wondering, with all the toys. <laughs> so just br bring on the questions. I'm open. Yes, yes. You know, I heard from many artists. Now you are artist number. Let, let me, I, I forgot what show is today, number 34. So we have 33 artists already. For, for, for Metal is Forever. I have nearly 100 shows, the morning shows with many artists as well, but uh, for a, for this show, and and uh, they all tell me the same. This is a fantastic podcast because this is new to, to chat with the with the, the audience, which is, is personally, and, and I think, yeah, we are on a something special here. And yeah, now comes the moment. Yeah, sorry. Yes, of course. So, during during the, the the next song which is the main song to tonight it's the new single and then we can talk a little bit uh, what was the inspiration and in this during the the, the song please outside or ihr draußen schreibt eure fragen und dann können wir dann die fragen alle abarbeiten and here is the new single but it's not a real video it's only a still photo with a little sparkling from myself and it's Nina Söderquist and falling the new single, first time in the European podcast.
Great song. Okay. No, Nita, I, I watched you. Do you react for, for every compliment? The, mm, and, and, but nobody can see you. I saw you. <laughs> oh, you did. I didn't know. So this was from my heart. You have no idea somebody yeah, watching you. I watched you. <laughs> because it's like a monitor. <laughs> yes. No, but what, I, I what, think what? The, 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 the audience and the The fans is the most important thing, I think. I mean, I, I love the comments and I love the, the feedback and I love that they like what I do. So the fans are so important, I think. Christoph, my little, my little, my good friend, he asked, you are, you sang as in classical direction with orchestra. Is the, that's your second passion? <sighs> well, I, I do it when I when I can, but it's not so often. Uh, but it's amazing to sing with a big uh, orchestra, of course, in a concert. Or I I, I love to sing, and I love the variety of music, rock, uh, the concerts with classical orchestra, or well, I love it all actually. <laughs> I can't really choose. What I you didn't answer my question actually. How it started your singing? So when you was a kid, you already discovered you have a voice for singing? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I sang so loud, so my teacher told me to, to be quiet <laughs> in school. But no, but I think I, I, I sang, but I didn't, I didn't have any stage, stages to sing at when I was small. But yeah, I, I did. But, but I mean, I, I started to sing professionally at, at 15, so... I think that's the answer to your question. Uh, and since then, I've always been singing. So, yeah. Many, many singers start in the church. Was this in Sweden also? Singing in a church or? Not, not for me, but I, li I like to sing in the church, but not for me, no. Jim, how you started playing I start, guitar? I can tell you, when I was five years old, My father came home from work a Friday and he took down one acoustic guitar and he played House of Rising Sun behind his neck. And I wow. was like, 
I'm gonna do that one day. So I took the same guitar and I went in and I sat and played, tried to do a D chord with my small fingers on a steel string guitar. But then I learned more and more. And I spent a lot of times with my grandmother and grandfather and they have also uh, guitars. She played also guitar, my grandmother. So I learned the old Swedish kind of folk songs with this seven chords and stuff. And then I, yeah, and then I just developed more and more, and I sat and did played more and more. And guitar now you out. play, and now you play all the songs behind your your head, yeah. <laughs> Everything, <laughs> no, but I can do actually the House of Rising Sun behind it, and I did, and of I discovered not, but I thought it was so cool. So it was a big inspiration for me. Oh, yeah. I tell you what, you actually was a, a draw in 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 in, uh, in Phuket when you play with the with the band. And people come to see you, and uh, many from Sweden I, I watched. They say, "Hey, in the internet, say, hey, there's a, a guitar player from Sweden. You have to watch. He is a killer." And this was actually oh. the first time I saw you. Yes, it was in in, in Phuket. Holy shit! I mean, <laughs> night by night, you no, know, this yeah. was a great rock club, rock city. Yeah, it and was so. Nice. Yeah, time flies. So nah. before you mention one <laughs> one one name, which uh, now comes a question, mortal, our our mortal. This is a metal mortal. His name mortal. Now you can answer this. Yeah, I was on the <laughs> I was a lead singer and the guitar player for the metal cover band at Rock City in Patong Beach. I did that for yeah. actually for almost nine years six nights a week so i act nine like nine years yeah nine years wow so I did like the game set field kind of thing so yeah that was me that was me you do you did it you did you it perfectly <laughs> I, yeah i you get it, it. He's, he's a great guitar player and a singer oh. as well yes, oh especially especially we have we have yeah. here flow flow is is the, the the lead singer from the metallica cover band mysterica you have to watch you have to check them out on YouTube, they are cool. <laughs> they are doing the real thing. So we have two songs left. This will be a shorter, a shorter interview today. Let's talk about. Let's talk about. No, let's talk about a new album. You're working on it. That's important. You have some 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 guests on the album. You you yeah, can. You can Jim can answer that. He, he's he's the one in control. I think I'm. I'm more like what? <laughs> you, you mean like you mean like the musicians who played on the album, or you mean like the songwriters? Vice, songwriters, or, yeah. I think. Songwriters, yeah. Actually, we have we have. First of all, me and Romney, we is one of the and Nina, we did the falling that is out now. If you guys hear, and then we have also some song ideas that me and my good friend Jimmy, uh, we wrote some music. And I've been writing some lyrics, some sketch lyrics, and some music in Santanina that I hope for this she gonna read, write that right. So it's gonna be good, I hope. And then and we have also uh, one uh, artist called Erika Bagenius. She was talking famous. Talking about Ivan Malmsteen, yeah. Yeah, Ivan Malmsteen's uh, ex-wife, right? Mm -hmm. She was. She's been writing some lyrics and some top line on one of the songs that is meant to be on the album. A really cool song. It's it's such a great girl power in that song. High heels yeah. and like, you know, poof, watch out. I love yeah. that song. And and, yeah, the, and the direction, the direction follows falling. Is this the, the? Oi, like, Jesus. <laughs> Oh, the phone. that's that's life. <laughs> the direction is kind of, uh, I think it's more attitude maybe in that mm. like, how it's more now like demo demo wise. It's like more kind of attitude. Mm -hmm. But it it has some kind of falling thing into it also with the piano things maybe. Yeah. I would say. I mean the, the the main the main thing uh, focus is Nina's fantastic clear voice. This voice yeah. is like an angel. This is so yeah. powerful Aww. and clear. This, yeah, that's absolutely absolute amazing. That's what, yeah. what I read all, in all comments. Even 
every time I played your song, Breathe, every time the comments are the same. Wow, what a voice, power voice, fantastic voice, power woman. So Thank yeah. you. I think and then we have also another one from Norway who have been written a lyric and the top line for a song called Broken. That's what it's called now. I did the music for that one. And on the other one that Erika sang on, me and Jimmy did the like the music for it. But this ballad, it's uh, she's called Camilla Alvestad. She's a famous singer from Norway. She sang with the band Solid Bass before, or was it uh, basic, basic Element? Sorry, I think it was how, how long you you knew uh, Nina? Not personally, mm -hmm. I mean from radio. Tim, how long you know her already? The thing is that me and Nina, we are from the same town in uh, in uh, okay. Bognes, in Sweden. But, we are from the same but town, we, but, we met. but we never met. So we, we have never met yet. So we just like doing this Zoom and Skype. Yeah. But I'm I'm gonna go down to to visit Jim, so we're gonna do some vocals and working on the album. So I mean, we need to say hi in in face to face. I think. <laughs> it is yeah. a strange timer. Yeah, mm. yeah it's, it's really. It's, it's, we, we had actually, it? me and Nina. We had a, a a songwriter sessions a few few weeks ago, like this. Mm. We sat and songs for like two hours. I think it was <laughs> on a Saturday. We sat like this, but it was like delayed and latency and stuff. It was really hard to sometimes. But we and, my... I was like, no, Jim, you need to start when I start. And he was like, yeah, but I do. It's just the de delay. It was like, oh, okay. <laughs> nah. Now I had it was fun. We sit next to each other and we can do it properly, for sure. I had the yeah. same problem with Dan Lucas, but this was live. Dan Lucas is a very fantastic singer. He won the... the, uh, the what cause it happened? Uh, the voice of Germany senior, he won it. And and he was, and I was happy to have him on a show in a morning show. And then he was a delay and he says, I hear always the song from before. What do you say? I said, Oh my god. I say, well, I had to stop the interview. It was useless, actually. It was a shame. I have to make this this interview again because he was he's a fantastic singer. You have to check it out. Dan Lucas, fantastic singer, already 20, 25 years in a business. So, but you are very, very good in uh, uh, in covering songs and give them your your note, like Guns N' Roses or Scorpions. You know what what I play now? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was kind of how, a, a great project. How this as comes? Well. How this comes together? Well, it was a project with just a guy from from the same village as me and Jim. He, I didn't, I, I didn't know him as either. And he just wrote to me and like, well, d should we do some songs together? And I was like, yeah. So they recorded the music. I went up and I recorded the the lyrics. It was like, it was honestly a one take, it just straight through, no cuttings. It's just like you know, we wanted it to be like a live session. So. It's just like okay, now we the band is rolling, and I was I sang it from and start to end, and and it was like a one take. It was really great fun, and so we, I love the band. We talk. We talk about uh, uh, welcome to the jungle and rocket like a hurricane, right? Yes. Right. Yes. One take. One take. That is Nina Söderquist, and let's let's hear it. One take. Fuck hell. Very cool. <laughs>
And you know what? What I just thought, it's like a song of yourself. It's not a Scorpion song or a Guns N' Roses song. It is a Nina Söderqvist song. Fantastic. Oh, thank you. What do you think, Jim? Yeah, of course. She make it like her own, of course. <laughs> yes, that is the, that's the secret. Yeah. And this is a one take. Absolutely. I do. Amazing. I do. I do this. I do these songs uh, when I do concerts. So it's kind of in my body. I. I just. I love them. So yeah. So rock and is also, your life. Yeah, but it is. I mean, I, I can sing. That. That's what I. That's what I do. So, and I, I'm not so much into making, uh, using stuff to make the voice sound this and that. I just. I mean. I've been working for such a long time and the voice is my instrument. So I know what I can do when I 
I like to challenge myself and also I think doing stuff more live is a challenge and I mean I I respect singers that can do songs live I I, I don't like singers that, that that I mean sound good on the record but then when you see them live it's like oh fuck that's crap that's not yes. good I think you need to deliver live as well so mm, yeah ACDC Raleigh, he has a raspy, erotic voice. And that's true. You have this, this very clear, like an angel, but then comes the crispy part, the, the rough. This makes it so, so, so unique. You are a very unique Thank singer, you. to be honest. Angel, angel and Demon. That's cool. Yeah, an, Angel yes. of Hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Energy. Peter, my, my I don't know why it's always little. My my big friend, Peter, Hippo, energy, it's energy, yes. Thank you. You transfer the, the energy. And I tell you that your kick out song will be in, in Sweden rock. How was it to work in Sweden rock? Was also. Yeah, it was great thing, fun. Huh? And I, yeah, I do it every year actually. We do the concert every year. So it's kind of the, 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 the thing I, I I'm looking forward most every year to do the gig. We do it every Friday on Sweden Rock. So yeah, it's it's kind of you know when you were you were your child and you you went to summer camp. It's like yay, <laughs> that's the feeling because you get to to work with all the 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 friends. I mean that's on Sweden Rock. I mean it, it can be anyone. I mean it can be Rob from Volbeat. It can it can be Ian from uh, from Europe. It can be D. It can be I mean, who, whomever is there can join up on stage. So it's like a special moment and you never know what's going to happen. So yeah, it's great fun. Ah, and we had, uh, uh, we also had the, the, the old, uh, oh gosh, now I lost the words. Oh my gosh, what's the name? I'm sorry. The, he sang in, uh, oh, embarrassing. My gosh, no. he sang. He sang in "Run to the Hills." Uh, he sang in uh, "I Renee." Uh, Blaze Bailey. Bailey. Blaze Bailey. Thank you, Jim. We had him on as well. And uh, I mean, anything can happen. And my memory. Guess. Uh, guess who <laughs> on the first of March in my show? Was it Blaze? Blaze Bailey Aww, on the first of March. Such a sweetheart. Oh, that's good. Yesterday, when I, when I talked to Jim, we had a, a long, long, long talk yesterday. And I said, and I I, I read him the, 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 the names coming up. He said, holy shit. I said, when I said, Blaze Bailey, holy shit. He's coming to your show. I said, yes, of course. Yeah, it's really cool. That's really and, cool. And, and, yes. Uh, he's, he's such a nice guy. I mean, such a nice guy. And I mean, they Let's all see. Are. Let's see. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's nice to a woman. I don't know. He's nice to a man. I think he's nice too. I, I think he's nice if you are nice, and you are. So yeah, yeah. Of course, we are metalheads. We have to yeah. support each other. You know. We are ni nice metalheads. Yes, it's the truth. We are nice, good heart. We love, especially my 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 community. What building up now, day by day, more coming. To find uh, to find the show, and in in the show now friendships are growing. It's really, it's it's because now it's more important to 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 listen to each other because we are locked down. By the way, lockdown. How is in Sweden? Is is mm. is there any different to Germany? Is it strict at the moment, or how is it in Sweden? Yeah, it's locked down, yeah. and I also think that the Corona uh, has made. I mean. Yeah, you, you can't really go out on tours. You can't play the music, and I think it's made the musicians more humble for for playing and also cooperations. Because before it was kind of hard to, if I call Rob in Volbeat, he was like, "Well, I'm on tour. I can't do this and that and blah blah blah." But now everyone is available, so it's just like, "Ah, hey, yeah, great fun. Let's do it." And uh, yeah. I hope yeah. that will continue. Uh, I mean the. the the love for the music and the love for making music together uh, when everything open, opens up as well. I hope mm. fingers crossed. 
Yes. Yeah. Everybody, everybody. And I tell you, I have big names also on the show who are, you know, their, their, their career is on the line now. So wife or crashed, you know, so they are in the middle say, we don't know if it's ever be like before or every video we show now with the, the, the masses of 80,000 people in Wacken, for example, if this ever happen again, everybody's hope, oh my God, you know, if this, if this is, 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 is done, you know, mm. it will be mm. very poor and sad world suddenly. Mm. If, the, if, the, yeah. if, if the world is suddenly digital, oh my God, you know. I, I, I'm a very positive person, so I think this is, will be, be out, gone. I think everything will be the same as before. That's in my world. And I think this is the perfect time to be creative and creative for the future. Yes. yes. Then Absolutely. Stay, stay a little bit and listen to yourself and like focus. That's what I think. And I yes. really think everything, everything will be good. Sooner or later. Let's hope sure. Jim is Yeah, let's hope you're right. Yeah. Yeah. I, ho I hope it's, so as well. It's up yeah. to us. Let's keep the positive energy. If yeah. the negative energy takes you, you go down. You yeah. will stop yeah. being creative. You will stop doing something. You'll be lazy. You get fat. You say, okay, it's done. Mm -hmm. uh, but, or you do the, the opposite. You be creative say, okay, there comes a time when everything opens up and then I'm here. I have something to say. And mm. you have something to say, you know. So don't stop. Can you imagine now, like, if, if everything would be, like, normal? Maybe we haven't been, like, doing some albums right now, like we're doing, like, for me now, the stuff. We, we're making something now. We're create, creating something. And then when everything yeah. opens, we're ready. She's ready with songs. If this, if, if it hasn't been like this, maybe we haven't been doing anything like this because we have been so busy with other things. Yeah, it's true. You, you and know, I, 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 need, I need to say as well, Jim, I'm so grateful for you. I mean, you're like, oh gosh, thank you. I mean, you're you're the engine in this project, and you're like, oh, you're br brilliant. I'm so grateful for thank a you. Wee bit. Yeah, I, I tell you something. We have I have a my sidekick on a Friday show is Popes. Bob is the lead singer of Black and Damned. Black and Damned just released a, a fantastic album. And you have to check out this album. And this album is done in six weeks. The guitar player was recording like, like, like you, Jim, producing, sent the, the tracks to, to, to Bobes. Bobes recorded it. And, and they did it in six weeks, the whole album. Recording plus uh, composing, recording, and then done. Six weeks, the whole album. The album is fantastic. It's every, everybody who, who got everybody who got the album uh, goes crazy about this. And this is not you need a year to work on an album. It's the spontaneous. The ideas comes out, the rough idea, and then polish. And nowadays it's much easier than 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 uh, thirty years ago when you work with the, the big machines. Now digital, you 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 polish in the recording already, but. This is what I think it's it's the future. Not this 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 endless recording three years for one album to work on it and uh, yeah, not good. Uh, so, no, let it like it is. The first idea is always I think the best idea. Polish, sing it great, play it great, and then get it out, and the people will appreciate it. I think this yeah, is the that, new the new style. Yeah, that is, that is what's great because now now in these days when you have this technology, you can record a song, a rough idea. And the day after, when you listen to the day after, you, you can hear, ah, that's how I should do it. Mm. Yes. Or you couldn't do it. You just went into the studio and just recorded it. And then, like, okay, it cost this, this amount of money. Now, yeah, you can... I... yeah, sorry. Yes. Yeah, but the economic, uh, the, the money is a, a big issue as well, I think. Because, I mean, you don't get so much money from the record labels to do an album. Nowadays, <laughs> there's no not so much money in doing an album, so it can't cost as much either. So you don't you don't afford you don't you don't get um, you can't afford to be in the studio for three, four, five months if you're not Scorpions. <laughs> but but no. so okay. Mm. But that's different like, story. Different like world. The, yeah, of course. Like the funny thing, like when, when like when we did, did the falling that song, we just record i recorded some stuff in my apartment and ronnie did in north nina did the vocals in stockholm and then we sent all the files to tobias lindell in thailand who mix it and master it on the other side of the world 
mm. and then he sent back final single. Fantastic mm. sound, I tell you. Um, in two yeah. in two days. <laughs> yeah. yeah, in two in two days. That was that was amazing. Mm. He's a really good producer. I hope, I hope you, you come to my show again with the album then. Of course. Then we Love to. Have, yes, please. So my sweet friends, we have one more one more song from Sweden Rock Festival and tell me who was on stage with you. That's big well, names. Uh, yeah, if you show me the, the clip before, first. Rock, uh, rock the Night. Rock the Night. Uh, from which year? I, I, I think it, it, it can be uh, it can be the drummer from Moustache. It can be the drummer from Europe. It can be Mickey D. Because we do this every, it, every it was, year. It was, it was from Europe, the drummer. It was the, the keyboard player from Europe. And then, and then, then it was the famous guitar player. As well, Rob Marcello was playing oh, guitar. Oh, yeah, 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 and also Hammerfalls. Uh, Hammerfall, uh, yes. Pontus, no, yeah. yeah. Mm. Danger, and danger. Who was danger, danger? Yeah, yeah, that's true, that's true. Was it uh, and yes. Bus, uh, Bus Mike as well from uh, a Swedish band and his brother. Yeah, here comes, yeah, a, yeah, here yeah, comes a off. True. Here comes a here comes an offer from Popes. Are you open for to to be a, a duet with Bopes on the next Black and Bring Damn it, album? bring it on, Roland. I will. Bopes, <laughs> Bopes. Uh, okay, I have Under, to Undertaker Bopes. Bopes, we are on it. Now you got it. You got the. This is the angel and demon. You can say it. Perfect combination. Yes. You have to check out the album. It's fantastic. Black and Damned, Heavenly Creatures, fantastic done. Will do. Yes, I do. Okay, good. So that was the cue for the last song. Thank you so much for coming. It was a pleasure to talk to you both. Thank and you so much for having us. Yeah, thank keep you. The, and keep the energy. Yeah. And by the by the way, Jim is yes. the composer of the, the Metal Forever intro music. Yes. Yeah. And and now comes. Since yesterday, it's officially now. I producing a documentary about about a day in the life of a rock podcaster, which involves also my guests. Some guests already confirmed with interviews. So it will be not only me alone. It will be also my guests, and the soundtrack is composed by Jim Wallenborg. Yay! Yeah, it's gonna be so really fun, uh, Richie. It's gonna be really great to work. Yes. And that's I'm, I'm so grateful because I asked only for one song, and you said, "Hey, one Richie, send me the whole rough cut and tell me the cues where you want music. I write it. I write the music for the for the documentary, and this is fantastic, that's my him. friend. Thank yeah. you. And, he, and he's going to do it like this. Yeah, he's he's amazing. Thank you, Jim. This will be a monster, a monster movie <laughs> about the monster with a Some monster kind of soundtrack. Richie. Some kind of Richie." <laughs> Some kind of Richie, yes. Oh my god. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. And here is Nina Sodagrist. The sound is not so perfect because it's done by a by a, a, a guess from a mobile phone, but yeah, the energy and this shows exactly what you said before. The energy on live, and you have to sing it live exactly like on the record, and the voice is exactly live, like on the record. Thank you. Nina, kisses to you. Hugs to my old brother, my metal brother, Jim. Thank you so much. And you need. And, and ch check me out on Instagram as well, Nina Soderquist. Of course, of course, of course. Where, 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 where the fans can find you? How, how they can buy your record? Uh, well, I don't know yet where they can buy my records. It's just on Spotify right now. And also, every news, it's on my Instagram, Nina Soderquist. Maybe you can put it out there so they can see okay i want to say something but i forgot now <laughs> uh, doesn't matter it was nothing special i guess so here is rock the night a classic song from europe of course and with two of the europe's the keeper player and the drummer danger danger hammerfall and some guest singers and of course Nina Sudakwist. Thank you so much. Rock the night. 
Stay heavy and all the best. Ja, das war Nina Söderquist und Jim Wallenburg arbeiten an einem neuen Album. Das wird mit Sicherheit gigantisch und ich hoffe, dass das klappt, dass der Poppes und die Nina zusammenarbeiten und eine geile Ballade machen. Die Weichen sind gestellt, meine Freunde. So muss es sein. Man muss offen sein und 
einmal eine kurze Idee reinhauen und mal schauen, was daraus wird. Wenn man nichts probiert, kann nichts werden. Und ich glaube, dass es super funktioniert. Bin überzeugt sogar. Seht ihr, man nimmt seine Nummer auf und, und in ein paar Stunden wird eine geile Single draus. So muss es sein. Und Jim Wallenberg hat mir einen, eine Band gebracht, die kommen am, jetzt mal schauen, am 8. Nee, am, jetzt muss ich sofort mal schauen. Wo sind sie? Und zwar Symphony Sweden kommen. Ich habe sie mir vorher gerade aufgeschrieben gehabt, aber ist egal. Ich, ich werde es gleich einblenden. Und hier sind Symphony of Sweden. Wenn wir schon bei Schweden sind, bleiben wir bei Schweden. Und die Jungs kommen zu mir ins Interview. Ich glaube am 23. Aber ich werde es gleich noch checken. Hier sind Symphony of Sweden und Giant. <lacht> war nicht mich, war der da drin. Ja, eure Kommentare sind natürlich wieder Weltklasse. Und Weltklasse sind auch seit ein paar von euch da draußen. Ich ziehe den Hut, was die mir alles anschleppt. Holy fucking shit. Der Flo bringt mir geile Bands. Der Chaos bringt mir geile Bands. Dann der Ludwig Schmollhofer bringt mir den Blaze Bailey. Und jetzt gibt es seit heute eine neue Band. Also neu ist nicht, aber am 18.03. kommt eine mega geile Band. Das hat der, wie hat es jetzt geschafft? Rate mal. Rate mal, wer die nächste Band mir besorgt hat. Der Christoph vom Luftraum. 
hat mir Blessed Hellride gebracht. Könnt ihr das vorstellen? Diese geile Band, Na, vor kurzem habe ich sie gespielt, dachte mir, die werden auch geil bei mir. Ja, und da sind sie. 18.3. bestätigt, Blessed Hellride und hier ist ein Song von Ihnen, der heißt Bastards and Outlaws.
Yeah. Bastards and Outlaws. Muss ich mal mein Ding ausschütten. Mein, mein Ventilator. Christoph, danke dir herzlich. Das ist natürlich mega, dass du mir diese Band gebracht hast. Absolut cool. Auf die freue ich mich. Was schreibt der Christoph? Fett geil, die Jungs. Und der AC Raleigh sagt auch, da werde ich gerne mitmischen. Jawohl, das glaube ich. Und zwar alle beim Christoph in der Luftbrücke. Luftbrücke soll schon. Ja, Luftbrücke, oder? Heute habe ich irgendwie ein bisschen einen, einen, einen Dachschaden. Ich bin vergurkt. Ich habe einen Gurkenschaden. So schaut es aus. Ich habe mir einen Gurkenschaden zugefügt. Ein Virus. Gurkenvirus. Ich träume von Gurkenhobeln und sowas. Hackert nochmal. So, heute Morgen habe ich äh, eine geile Nummer gespielt. Ich habe es auch noch angeschrieben. Mal schauen, ob ich eine Antwort bekomme. Von Mr. Marco Mendoza. Den finde ich so mega geil. Ist auch so ein krachender Rock. Und die, 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 die Attitude, was er hat und so. Und dann die Message. Viva la Rock, Freunde. Wir müssen rocken. Wir haben nicht mehr rocken, ist vorbei. Und hier ist der Marco Mendoza. Hoffentlich antwortet, antwortet, antwortet er auf mein E-Mail. Und dann schauen wir weiter. Vielleicht habe ich ihn bald hier. Hier ist er. Marco Mendoza. Marco Mendoza. Viva la Rock. Also heute habe ich Maul, Maul irgendwie. I'm not afraid to 
Park and all that comes with it. You know what I'm talking about. Enjoy. Viva. Der geile Marco Mendoza. Geiler Bassist. Geiler Sänger. Passt. Möchte ich super, super gern interviewen. Wie gesagt, ich habe den zum ersten Mal gesehen, war genommen, ich glaube 2006 war das gewesen, bei Whitesnake. Kann ich anders Datum sein. Ich glaube, das vor sechs war. Sensationell in London aufgenommen, die DVD. Mit dem Doug Aldridge, Tommy, Tommy Aldridge. Holy shit. Das war Rob Beach. David Coverdale. Da, da war da, da, da hat er gescheint. Da hat er auch super ausgeschaut, lange Haare und den Hut auf gehabt, so einen nackten Oberkörper. Rockstar. Und der ist über 60, an 70 geht er schon. So schauen Opas aus. Nicht Schnabelbecher und Bepfanne. Jawohl. So, wir haben noch zwei Songs. Zwei. Zwar meine nächsten zwei Gäste bloß verkehrt rum. Als erster kommt mein Freitagsakt, nämlich die guten alten Axis. Bin mir gespannt, ob der, der Bernie alleine kommt oder ob er noch von seinen Axtbrüdern ein paar mitbringt. Auf alle Fälle ist es eine geile Live-Nummer. Glaube ich, in, in, in Tschechien auch oder so aufgenommen, wenn mich alles täuscht. Auf alle Fälle hier sind. Axis, little look back.
Yeah, Axis geht ab wie Schmidt Katz. Immer schon eine geile Live-Truppe gewesen. Auch schon gesehen. Anfang der 90er, richtig geil. Tja, am Freitag ist Axis Night. Und morgen, das sind auch ganz, ganz coole Hund. Auf die freue ich mich auch. Das ist der nächste, wahrscheinlich Kracher Abend. Mit dem Song verabschiede ich mich für heute. Danke, dass ihr wieder dabei wart. Schauen wir, was noch geschrieben wurde. Da bin ich gespannt. Gott sei Dank habe ich Frankie. Oh Gott, Frankie, ohne dich, ja. Den Bernie müssen wir stoppen. Der wird bap, 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 aber es macht nichts. Dafür sind wir ja da. Wird uns nicht langweilig. So, also, Freitag nicht vergessen einzuschalten. 20 Uhr, Metal Forever. Und morgen Abend kommen die Jungs von Dust and Bones. Und mir gefällt diese Szene, passt mir im Video auf, wo der so, hm? So blöd schaut, mit seinem Unterhemd, mit seinem Bart. Der ist so cool, der Typ. Der gefällt mir total geil. Irgendwie erinnert mich der aus irgendeinem Film. Ich weiß nicht, welcher Film das es war. War er bei den Flotten oder also irgendwo war der also so ähnlich. Hier ist Nail it to the wall with rock and roll. Und danach sage ich noch Servus. Hier sind sie. Dust and Bones. Morgen bei mir im Interview. Halt, falsch gemacht. Da sind wir.
Jawohl, die machen jetzt Fun. Und Metal Forever Gurkensteller 1999. Sau billig. Jawohl, aus Holz. Metal is Forever aus Holz. So, liebe Freunde, das war's gewesen. Danke fürs Zuschauen. Der Peter Krause. Das war mal ein, ein Rauschmeister zum Schluss. Der Gurkensteller. Wir gehen die Gurken schon auf die Gurke. Ja, solange es nicht meine Gurke ist, die da geschält wird. Okay. So, liebe Freunde, das war's. Ich freue mich auf morgen. 8. Früh geht's wieder los. Die Morgen Rockshow. Und abends 20 Uhr. In Gurken wie Trust, United wie Shell. Das ist ein geiler Spruch. Den werden wir auch schön auch machen. Okay? Gurken Nacht at all. Da schreibt der, der Peter, wir sind alle vergurkt. Ihr Gurkenköpfe. Ihr Vermaledeiten. So, wollen wir noch ein bisschen Gurken? Die, hätte ich eigentlich früher auch sagen können. Statt, hey, da mal schnackseln. Oder hast du Lust zu mausen? Oder fegeln? Herr Gott, hey, wie schaut es aus? Gucken wir ein bisschen. Gucken wir rum. Das war's. Meine lieben Freunde, danke fürs Zuschauen. Und da würde ich mal sagen, entlasse ich euch mit meinen lieben Sponsoren. Letzte Wort haben die Sponsoren. Kauft was, kauft Gurkenscheller, so wie ihr es wollt. Fahrt zum Christoph. Wenn ihr Sau braucht, geht zum Hack. Wenn ihr Fliesen braucht, geht zum Spitzner. Der Seidel, der fährt euch den Schmarrn. Und äh, bei, beim äh, Hotte wird es verhunzt. Und naja, ich wisst schon, nur das Beste vom Besten kriegt für uns. Okay, das war's gewesen. Ich schaue schon noch, was geschrieben wird. Bis morgen früh. Morgen Gurke steht bereits um 8. <lacht> Die Morgengurke. Genau. Der Gurkensaft. Der Gurkensaft wird entleert. So, jetzt kommt es ins Graf. Nein. Ich wünsche euch was. Gute Nacht bei mir. Guten Morgen. Servus und im Metal we trust, united we stand. Servus. Die Metal is Forever Show wird euch präsentiert von Der Vegan Ashes of Rock'n'Roll. Veganer Lifestyle ist lebendiger Rock'n'Roll. Wir sind Rebellen. Wir sind Veganer. Wir lieben das Leben und leben es mit jeder Menge Spaß. Fliesen Spitzner, ihr zuverlässiger Handwerker für alle Aufgaben rund um das Verlegen von Fliesen, Platten, Mosaik und Naturstein. Schwammerhandler, Fanshop, Store and More, das aus dem Bayerischen Wald. Dezihel, Business Clothes for Rockers. Dezihel, kein Fest und der leckere Sposau. Deshalb, wenn es um Sposau geht, dann hacks Sposau Grillerei. Wenn es um Cargo geht, dann Seidel Cargo, denn wir fahren auch Metal. Crazy Stuff Tattoo in Schwandorf, Tätowierer aus Leidenschaft. Dein Tattoo-Studio in privater Atmosphäre und für individuelle Tattoos. Luftraum Fürstenfeldbruck, die Rock- und Metal-Kneipe. Jede Woche von Donnerstag bis Samstag Rock und Metal vom Feinsten. 